Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Fox, and I'm the clinical director of the Fox Vision Development Center here in Latham, New York. And one of the things we get asked very frequently, in fact, it seems like once a week or more, is my child has ADHD. Do you think they might have a vision problem? And that is an excellent question, and I'll tell you why. Let's go, let's go on a little adventure. Uh, imagine a child in the classroom trying to read. Let's say they're a fourth grader. And they try to read, they want to read, but every time they look at the print, the print starts to move around or swim or even sometimes see double, two lines of print where there's just one printed on the page. Now imagine being asked to read that. The harder you try, the worse it gets. You try to read, but you don't really remember what you just read. So you read it again, and maybe even a third time. After the third time, you've now spent a lot of time reading. All your friends in class have gone on to the next chapter, and you have no idea what you just read. Do you think you might start to fidget? Do you think you might start to daydream? Well, that's exactly what happened to me. I actually was a fairly early reader. I learned to read. I learned my phonics very young. But I got to about fourth grade, and the more I tried to read, the less I seemed to remember. And by fifth grade, I was totally spaced out in class. I was a daydreamer. I was distracted. I would fidget. Couldn't sit still. In fact, my fifth grade teacher called me the spaceman. Um, Actually, I guess we wouldn't say those things in front of the rest of the class anymore. But that was me. And to be honest, nowadays, I probably would have been diagnosed with ADHD and possibly even been put on medications. Thing is, I really wasn't ADHD. I didn't learn until I got to graduate school and had a heavy load to read and needed to do some searching. And I found out that I had a problem using my two eyes together. What this meant was, when you read, think about this, when you look far away, your eyes are straight, but when you read, you literally have to pull your two eyes inward, so they both point to the same letters and the same point to the page at the same time. If this doesn't happen, your eyes may spread apart, as they did in my case, and the print may start to move around or double up. Think about how confusing that is. It's a very, very difficult thing, and different kids do different things. The other thing you have to keep in mind, and I'll tell you the truth, I did not know the print wasn't supposed to do that. I thought everybody else saw the print the exact same way I did, and I could not figure out why this was so difficult for me to get through. The good news is, and it worked for me, though, I'll tell you, I wish I had stumbled upon this when I was or at least my parents had stumbled upon this when I was in third or fourth or fifth grade, was that this problem, a called a convergence insufficiency, is actually very treatable. There's a solution for this problem. It's called vision therapy. What is vision therapy? Well, think about it as perhaps physical therapy for your eyes and your vision. That uh, we can put you through an individualized program, and retrain your eyes and teach them how to work together so that now converging becomes an easy task. Uh, if you would like to learn more about this, please contact our office. We're at foxvisiondevelopment.com and we would love to help you out.